Trailing the Hunter's Moon is presented by Ruger Rugged Reliable Firearms Hornady Accurate Deadly Dependable Trichicon Brilliant Aiming Solutions Wildlife Systems Serving hunters and landowners since 1987 DSC Conservation Education and protecting hunters' rights. What an absolutely fantastic morning here with Don. Don and I have hunted together a little bit on an absolute monster antelope. Didn't we though? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. I don't know that we can, I don't know that we can equal that in terms of the, right. what, what that animal was, but man. This place is fantastic. This is the H.E. Terrier Ranch, uh, the Ponte del Monte that Wildlife Systems has had for hunting for at least 12, 14 yeah, years. 12, 14 I know years, because yeah. years ago I came here with Greg and shot mm -hmm. a Neil Guy antelope that was unbelievable, but yeah. uh, we're hunting for a scimitar horn oryx this morning, and they're kind of one of the true success stories when it comes to exotics here in Texas. Is that there are actually probably as many on this individual ranch as there are in the initial country where yeah, they came right. from. So they've done extremely well here, and we're going to have to look for either a really big bull or a very long horned cow, and really doesn't make me a whole lot of difference. But I'm excited. We drove around a little bit yesterday with the oh, landowner. Yeah. With, uh, yeah. and, uh, the population's good. We yeah. saw several yeah. yesterday and yeah. a bunch of other animals too. And yeah. I can't wait to see what we're going to see today. Yep. We've got a 375 Ruger. It's supposedly shooting where it's supposed to. <laughs> and, oh, it, it will. It's, it's top of the Trigicon scope. Yeah. And uh, then uh, I'm shooting the uh, Outfitter 250 grain GMX. Wow. Hornady load, yeah. which the, that rifle shoots extremely well. Yeah. So if we get onto one, I'll try to do my part. Mm -hmm. I know the gun and the bullet will do their part. Yeah, it's just whether I can. Yeah, <laughs> it'll go where I've got it. It'll go where the barrel's pointed whenever I pull the yeah. trigger, Don. So. Okay. And I good. think you're going to be usually carry a backup yeah, yeah, gun I'll, too. I'll, so I that's got perfect. 300 win. Perfect. Well, let's, let's go see if we can hopefully not get stuck with a little rain that we had last night. Tell me. Yeah. One of the things about wildlife management is, is when you manage the habitat for big species such as they're doing here with white-tailed deer, turkeys, the exotic species they have, the habitat benefits. If there wasn't any economic value here for some of these other animals like the game species and the exotics, all this would be a totally different type of habitat. And because you have that grazer and you have that browser and the one that grazes and browsers, you have to have a diversified habitat when you do that everything benefits, including the habitat itself. This segment of DSC's Trailing the Hunter's Moon is brought to you by Double Nickel Taxidermy. It is warm. <laughs> it is hot. 
Uh, but it's that time of year. We're starting to get heat down here. We came down probably right before the last little bastion of cool air was here and is going to be here with this kind of front that's moving down. But after that, daytime temperature is going to be 100 plus and humidity is going to be 100 plus. And mosquitoes are going to be 1,000 plus down here. So it's a great time to be down here, but any time's a good time. If you want to come down in the summertime and experience what South Texas is like, deep South Texas is like in July and August, by all means, come on down. You'll hunt late in the afternoon, early in the morning, and during the middle part of the day, you'll do like a lot of locals do, and just kind of sit in where it's cool and take a siesta and get ready for the rest of the day. Oh, what I was going to say, Don, that's one of the problems I've got now with people that don't understand what I'm trying to do. When I, when an animal like a sable is so regal, dies of old age here, mm -hmm. they say, well, why didn't you do something? I said, I don't know what you wanted me to do. It had a life here for eight or ten years. Yeah, really. And uh, I can't walk behind them and, and keep them from dying. And they're like the white tail and everything else. Good gosh, how many of them are in that herd? I don't know, Larry. That's a lot of them. That's a lots of lots of bodies right there. Yes. We've got a herd spotted. Kind of got the wind in our direction. Kind of blowing this way. See if we can get back here in this brush and see if Mr. Don can do his magic. This in the background. We're going to move it, we'll figure it out. Oh yeah, one goes back, one comes forward. He sticks straight up in Yeah. There. God, there's no way there's one or two of them there worth shooting, but... Yeah. <sighs> but it's a Good Let God. Let them get off the road. If they will. Maybe they'll ease off to the left or right. There is a bunch of them there. Oh my goodness. They're still coming. Look at that. <laughs> They're not. It's about time you think that's got to be it. There's a little bitty one right there. <laughs> hmm. Beautiful okay. animals. Gosh, yeah. that's pretty. A lot of them. They're white and against this beautiful lush green that we have right now, they look even whiter. Yeah, they do, don't they? Whiter whites and brighter brights or whatever that was years ago. This segment of Trailing the Hunter's Moon is provided by Ripcord Rescue Travel Protection. We got your back.